Rivers State Governor Yesa Meza Wike has presented the 2018 Appropriation Bill of $510 billion to the Rivers State House of Assembly for consideration and subsequent approval. Christine, the Project of Consideration, Advancement and Empowerment. Governor Wike said that the budget will consolidate and advance the state's investment in infrastructure, education, health care and security, as well as in growing the economy to create jobs and empower the people. The 2018 budget estimates. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, Distinguished Guests, the projected revenue for River State for 2018 fiscal year is 510 billion naira only. In assembling this budget, we are guided by the need to consolidate and advance our investments in infrastructure, education, healthcare, and security, as well as in growing the economy to create jobs and empower our people. Presenting the budget proposal to the House on Thursday, the Governor said that the proposed 2018 River State budget has $379 billion 999 million 689,404 naira as a capital expenditure while 132 billion will be used for recurring expenditure. This gives a capital to recurring expenditure ratio of 75 to 25 percent respectively. The substantial increase in capital over recurring expenditure once again underscores our commitment to direct substantial resources to the critical growth sectors of our economy. Governor Wike said that the 2018 budget will be funded from FAC, 40 billion naira, 13% of oil minerals funds, 120 billion naira, VAT, 6 billion naira, internally generated revenue, 132 billion naira, reimbursement, 70 billion naira, domestic international credit, 70 billion naira, and capital received, 20 billion naira. The governor stated that the total portfolio of 90 billion and 35 billion have been allocated to the Ministry of Works and Special Project Bureau, respectively, to fund the delivery of capital projects in the 2018 budget. The total portfolio of 90 billion and 35 billion has been allocated to the Ministry of Works and the Special Projects Bureau, respectively, to fund the delivery of capital projects in this year's budget. He said that the administration is committed to the completion of key projects in different parts of the state. Specifically, some of the road projects we intend to deliver this fiscal year include dualization of Sabuwa Bori Road, dualization of Slaughter Transamari Garrison Road, dualization of Elelewa Apajo Road, dualization of Oil Mill Woji Elelewa Apajo Road, dualization of the Tandem of the West of Rikore Road, the Andani Opopo Unity Road, and internal road network in Abonima in Agoto local government area, Amariyama in Portago local government area, Okotri in Okotri local government area, Ele Larisobo in Ikwe local government area, among others. Other key projects also have marked for delivery in 2018. Bonibile Waterside Jetty, Mile 1 Market Phase 2, Reclamation Work in Abalama in Saruto local government area, Ogu Town in Ogubolo local government area, Bakana in Degema local government area, and Ogunebali in, in Portakot local government area. Constituency Project, Real Madrid Football Academy, Luxury Living Quarters for Judicial Officers from the State, and the Cinema and Restaurant Project in the Pleasure Park, among other projects. In addition, we shall also start some new roads, including the Women's Women's Center, the New World Club and Dragon Conference Center, and some other roads. On education, Governor Wiki said, We are devoting $50 billion to fund the education sector for the 2018 fiscal year. This sum is 20 billion more than that of 2017. In addition, we have proposed a capital grant of 500 million to each of our tertiary institutions to bolster for infrastructure development and improve quality. Apart from proposing the sum of 2 billion for the provision of scholarship for critical areas of the state manpower needs, we have also proposed to set aside another 2 billion to partner, encourage, and support the development of private universities and improve access to tertiary education for river state indigenous. In the state. Governor Wiki stated that his administration is providing the sum of 30 billion naira in the 2018 to enhance all aspects of the healthcare delivery system in the state, including the provision of health infrastructure for health institutions, recruiting and training of medical doctors and other healthcare personnel, refurbishing and equipping of primary healthcare centers, providing vaccines for routine immunizations against child 
killer diseases as well as in carrying out education and sensitization programs on reproductive, maternal, neonatal and child health care. We are providing the sum of 30 billion naira to enhance all aspects of the health care delivery system in the state, including the provision of health infrastructure for health institutions, recruitment and training of medical doctors and other health care personnel, the furnishing and equipping of primary health care centers, providing vaccines for the immunization against child killer diseases. On security, Governor Wiki said that the state government will continue to invest heavily on the security of lives and property through the funding of security agencies and provision of logistics for them to effectively secure the state. We have also approved the establishment of the River State Neighborhood Safety Corps to further enhance the security in the state. We are fully established and operational. The Corps will have the responsibility to collaborate with security agencies to combat crime and cultism in our communities and neighborhoods. The State Security Council has already approved the bill to give effect to this initiative, which we shall soon transmit for the consideration of the House of Assembly and passing into law. The 22 billion we have proposed in the 20, 2018 budget for security operations will also take care of the setting up and personalization of this agency. In order to tackle the high level of youth unemployment and poverty, the governor said that the empowerment has been prioritized in 2018. Governor Wicke proposed 6 billion naira for unemployment generation, 7 billion naira for women development and 2 billion to support youth development. He added that the state government will inject 1 billion naira into the state microfinance agency to provide loans and support the development of small-scale enterprises in the state. We have proposed 6 billion for employment generation, 7 billion for women development center and 2 billion to support youth development. In addition, we will inject $1 billion into the state microfinance agency to provide loans and support the development of small-scale enterprises in the state. He said that the sport development will be funded by the state government in the 2018, noting that the Real Madrid Football Academy will come on stream. We will also continue to fund the state football teams and support them to win laurels at national and continental level. For these and other activities, for a comprehensive development of sports in the state, we propose to spend $2.5 billion for 2018 fiscal year. The governor said that investment in the administration of justice and the justice sector will be sustained. He said that $4.35 billion naira have been allocated to the law and justice sector. We well, accordingly provided $4.3 billion for the law and justice sector of the 2018 budget to further enhance the administration of justice in the state. He said that the administration decided to renew and strengthen her partnership with the Church of God in the state by proposing to establish a trust fund for the church to administer to its need. The sum of one billion naira has been proposed under this budget for this purpose. Governor Wiki said that in the past two and a half years, the administration has demonstrated that it is committed to solving the problems it inherited and advance the overall well-being of the people. For us. Our state desires meaningful development and we must, as a government, continue to do our best to deliver to our people. That is why we are offering a reality budget for 2018, which takes a balanced and pragmatic approach towards solving the developmental challenges of our state and take it to the next level of transformation. It will be recalled that the River State Governor, Yesom Ezawike, proposed a budget of 470 billion naira for 2017. The 2017 budget recorded about 74% performance, which was a significant improvement over that of 2016. In his remarks, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Mr. Kunye Waji Bani, assured the people of River State that the State Assembly will continue to support the Executive to deliver the development of the state. The synergy between the legislature and the executive is one area to have explored very well. We have to tell you said an analysis of the 2018 budget shows that the River State Governor will consolidate on development in different sectors of the state's economy. To your presentation again and carefully, I can now see the relationship between infrastructural development and human capacity development, which is also part of the focus of the 2018 budget. He said that the State House of Assembly would treat the budget expeditiously but stated that due process will be followed.